let's give a big round of applause and celebrate Mr. Triplet himself. Community members of all ages, including friends and family, are celebrating Larry Triplett. My older cousin, my grandkids, and you know Stephanie. On Tuesday, the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Peninsula's East Palo Alto Clubhouse dedicated their basketball court to Triplett. I'm just in awe because this is a dream come true. Triplett's philanthropic spirit started after opening East Palo Alto's first McDonald's in 1988. His faith never wavered, even as East Palo Alto transformed from the nation's murder capital to a city with no murders in 2023. It was roughly 1990 and 91. That's when it was really bad. I lost business because people were afraid to stop. So to hear no homicides, then I commend the chief of police, the city council, everybody. The city of East Palo Alto wanted to commend Triplett for investing in their future. Councilwoman Lisa Gaucher and Mayor Antonio Lopez presented a proclamation. The city council of East Palo Alto hereby honors and recognizes Larry C. Triplett for his outstanding legacy of service to the East Palo Alto community. Thank you so much. As a former school principal, Triplett believes a good education can change lives. He was once a member of the Center for a New Generation with Condoleezza Rice, board president of the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Peninsula. And last year, he was a major donor to Oakland's first Ronald McDonald House. If you support the Boys and Girls Club or Ronald McDonald's House, you can't go wrong. You're a winner. That's the one investment that you can make that you will not lose in. Many times when you get something named after you, you're not still on the planet. I am so fortunate to still be here to see my name and see the great work that they do. Larry Triplett's son said it's not just about this basketball court. It's about all the resources children will be able to get here at the Boys and Girls Club of East Palo Alto. For ABC7, I'm Lauren Martinez.